All right. Hey, everybody. I'm 99% sure I'm going to knock this over during the talk. Um, so if you haven't heard the word enough yet, we're here to talk about Bitcoin tonight. But what exactly is Bitcoin? A lot of people think of it as digital gold 2.0. A lot, of it, a lot of people think of it as a stock, just something you invest in. Um, but we're here to talk about that it actually is a store of value while also being a day-to-day -day currency. Um, but before we really get into how to use it, what it is, we first need to ask a question about what exactly is money. Um, it's a question that we don't really ask ourselves just on a day-to-day -day basis because we grew up with the dollar, you pay for it, you get what you paid for. Um, and in this picture right here is actually a picture Jacob took in El Salvador uh, where Bitcoin is a legal tender. Um, he got some drinks and that's all he can tell you about that night. <laughs> all right, so what exactly is money? Uh, probably not something you've spent a lot of time thinking about if this is your first meeting. Um, Bitcoin is basically, or sorry, money is basically a way to guarantee that the energy that you have obtained will be available for you to use in the future. It's a way for you to make sure the wealth you have today can be a way for you to consume in the future uh, without losing purchasing power. So you don't want the time and energy that you spent today to be worth less in the future. Um, five characteristics of good money. Number one, scarcity. There can only be a finite amount. And keep in mind, I said good money, uh, the money that we use, the US dollar, uh, it does not have a scarce amount. Um, and is expanding pretty rapidly. Uh, the second quality is divisibility. Can you break it down into smaller units? Can you carry it with you, portability? Durability, how long does it last? Does it expire? I can't use an apple as a currency because it'll go bad. Uh, recognizability, is one unit the same as every other unit? Uh, if I have Bitcoin, will you recognize it as Bitcoin? Um, and good money does need all five of these characteristics. So yes, Bitcoin is money. It checks five out of five of those boxes. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin protocol is decentralized, which just means people all over the world operate the network. No one person or one small group can change the monetary policy. Uh, Bitcoin is permissionless. No one has to give you permission to use it. It's borderless. Anyone in any country with internet access can use Bitcoin. You don't have to pay a fee to, to start using it. Uh, anyone has access to it if they have access to the internet. Um, I read a story today about people in Ukraine, refugees getting away from the war. The only way they are getting away with their life savings are through Bitcoin. Uh, they currently don't have access to their bank, so Bitcoin is the answer. Um, and then Bitcoin is financial freedom in the sense that no one can control your bank account. Um, no one can close it. No one can shut it down. You're not relying on a third party. And if you store your money properly, like we're going to go over tonight, then no one can ever take it from you.